Before I start the showcase of the circuit mod menu, I just want you guys to look at that money count on the top right hand corner of the screen. That is one billion five hundred million dollars. If you guys want an account that has that much money on it, including properties and a ton of other unlocks, make sure you guys pick up a modded account from wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. And if you guys use code wicked to check out, you know what it is. You'll get five percent off. All right, guys, this is the circuit mod menu. Pick it up from the same place, the same link in the description, the same discount code. You know what it is. Let me get right into this here. Starting off in the player section here, you have your model changer here. You can come in here. I should probably, uh, uh, ah, leave me alone, buddy. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Before we even get into any of that, we're gonna come down here to the disable section and we're gonna disable the phone so this video is not blown up like the last video. All right, so as you guys can see, we do have the different model changers here. You can be any of the online characters as well as online care or online as well as story mode characters. And then there's also a lot of, you know, the Baywatch characters and stuff. Damn boy. Um, and you know, just a lot that this person. All right, we're gonna be this guy for the rest of the video. Oh wait, let me show you this because some of you might be interested in it. If you want to be a fully controllable boar, you can uh, you can do that too. Let me just get back to, sure, the American guy, let's do it. All right, you guys do have your particle effects here as well. Let me come down here. If you enable it here, do you have to do it here? There you go. As you guys can see, particle effects are in full motion here. You also have your animator here. You can do a bunch of different things like this guy getting on the ground like he's uh, you know, uh, getting arrested. Um, you have your outfit editor is here, but in order for the outfit editor to work, you do need to be using your real online character. It will not work with a spawned in character like I have here. Um, uh, let me see. You do have the no clip option here as well. It usually works best with uh, keyboard and mouse. As you guys can see, we are, you know, just no clipping around the map. Pretty cool option to get around and mess around with your friends with. You can also adjust the speed of it here and other things as well. Oh, all right, continuing on here, you do have your normal things that are in every mod menu, your god mode, stealth mode. It says you still die to explosions and more, but apparently it protects you from other events. You have your never wanted level, just keeps the police off of you. But if you turn that off and you wanna be five star wanted, you can do that, or you can go back down to zero. I like to leave the cops off. You have your no ragdoll if you want to like, you know, I don't know, go like fall down this hill. It'll stop you from essentially falling head over heels. Your seatbelt option is going to keep you from getting kicked out of your vehicles. Uh, you have your damage multipliers here for your melee and weapon, weapage, <laughs> your weapons. Uh, your teleport options here, super jumps, kind of a cool option, just kind of, you know, makes you jump a bit higher, you know, kind of cool. And usually the faster you're running forward when you jump, basically the, uh, the higher you jump. Oops, we jumped out there, uh, coming down here. You also have your super run option here as well. Um, oh, it's only at one. You have to turn this up like so. And now when we run, you guys can see we're running at like super, super human speeds. <laughs> uh, kind of cool. All right, turn that off. You have your fast run here, your salto jump. Uh, is this the flip jump animation? Yeah, it is. Oh, double front flip. There we go. Your light collision options here, your visibility versus invisibility so there's locally visible which means you can see yourself but nobody else can see you that's a really great option if you're trying to you know go off the radar and maybe freak some people out you have your reset stamina loop so you can run across all of los santos county without ever running out of breath you do have your swim anywhere option this will just make you swim in the air like an absolute g your refill health armor or health and armor options your clean options and then finally your suicide option down there as well i'm going to show you guys a little bit of things inside of the Network options here. I'll have to blur out some of this information here. But basically, you can come in here. What's really cool about Circuit is you can actually enable protections for your friends. So if you come on here, say your friend is sad, sad, sad fiddo, sad fiddo. Okay. You can come in here and you can block script events and networks in here. You can either just notify them of a block, block them, or block and notify. Really cool option. I don't believe most menus have that. You can come down here. You can, oops, I just teleported to him. I did not mean to do that. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Um, you can spectate him from his perspective. You can give him, <laughs> he's probably like, where did you just come from? 
Uh, you can come in here, you can view his profile, his Rockstar ID, you can copy it. You can do helpful things to them. You can give them explosive ammo. You can give them a RP drop just like that, as you guys can see. Um, you can give, you can kill the killer. I believe like if someone's coming after him, it'll kill that person. And you can give him all weapons in the game. Pretty great options there. You have all of your crash options here and abusive other options if you were going to do that. And more and more trolling options. You can take away their god mode, give them an explosion loop. We're not going to do that. Screw it, we are. Okay, as you guys can see, he has god mode enabled, so he's not going to die. We could take away his god mode, but you know what? I don't think we're going to do that today. So that's the basically what the options are like for online things. You have your anti-AFK option here. That's basically going to keep you from getting kicked from the session. You can leave the session and join sessions from here, as well as crash, kick, desync, and script kick every single person in the lobby from this from this list right here. Circuit, guys, is a super smooth, really fun to use menu. It doesn't have a crazy amount of features but the features that it does have just works really well i don't know what happened to that guy right there all right so you have your protections in here all of these right now are just set to notify you can come in here and enable all of these just like this and you can also do block block and notify you know all of these things like this we're going to turn all of these off right now because I don't feel like I need the protections right now. Same thing with network events here and your different block models. Continuing on here, you do have your teleport to waypoint options as well as your automatic teleports. If you want to teleport right to the casino, you can do that too. The airport, the shipping dock, Mount Chiliad, back where we were before. And let's just go back to the airport for the rest of this video. But so you have all these presets in here and then your auto teleport to waypoint or teleport to waypoint options. You have your loadout options here. You can do give all weapons. As you guys can see, we got every vehicle in the game. And did I really miss? God, what a loser. Uh, you have your gravity gun option here. I don't know if this will work on this. Yes, it will. Aha. Ah, as you guys can see. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It's like literally flying away. Can I pull it back? Oh my God, that's crazy. I've never actually done that with an airplane before. That's super cool. Give your bullet impacts here as well. You can do, I believe, yeah, like a grenade impact, although that did not work. Sticky bomb? No, um, it's enabled, but it does not seem to work. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, something seems to be bugged out with that option right now. You have your bullet tracer options here. It seems like both of these, oh wait, there we go. Now you can see the lines coming out. Those are basically your tracer lines showing you where the bullets were coming from. Uh, you have your aimbot options here as well, as well as weapon data, which will show you, oh, you can adjust like how accurate you are and stuff like that. You have your persistent weapons options, infinite ammo, bypass your C4 limit, your teleport gun. If you put this on, you shoot, you'll automatically teleport to whatever thing you shoot at. Pretty cool. Your rapid fire option, as you guys can see, just a ridiculous rate of fire. That basically automatically enables unlimited ammo as well. Give your rope gun here, fire bullets. I've seen fire bullets recently do not work in absolutely any menu. Although that seems to work when you shoot the car, but it does not work when you just shoot the ground. That's very interesting there. Explosive bullets as well. You can see this one certainly works. Um, blow these cars up just for the heck of it. Uh, you can steal vehicles. Basically, if you shoot a vehicle, um, it will automatically teleport you inside of it. That's a pretty cool option there. You have your model swapper here as well. Uh, eraser, shoot at any entity to delete it. Interesting. So if you like enable this and shoot that. Ah, look, it actually deletes it. That's actually pretty dope. All right, the game decided to crash on me there when I was enabling a bunch of features. I'm not sure which feature it was, and I kind of forget where we were. I believe we had looked at fire bullets, uh, eraser. I think we pretty much got through every option here, so we're going to jump onto the next section here. That's the vehicle section, but first I need to spawn in a vehicle. As you guys can see, a nice little animation here when you guys are looking at all the different vehicles. We will, uh, let's spawn in a few here. Let's maybe grab this guy. Yeah, sure, that works. All right, so once you get all of the vehicles out here, you can come down to the vehicle section right here. You can enable auto repair. That's basically like vehicle god mode that's gonna keep you. Oh God, we're gonna have to go disable the phone real quick. This guy's gonna kill me. All right, there we go. Now that we have that 
fixed we can come up to here i was showing you guys the auto repair option you can bypass the top speed limit on the car that's a really cool option you have your f1 wheels for whatever reason i think these look absolutely sick you have your fixed vehicle option you can upgrade just the performance or you can do the full upgrade you can also downgrade the vehicle to get it back to the base model spec as well as delete the vehicle here continuing on like i said we do have this spawner section here one thing i would like to point out a lot of menus when you have the menu open you can't hit like y to get into a car you would have to close the menu and then uh, essentially reopen it once you got into the vehicle so it's really cool that they have this the spawner section very self-explanatory you can spawn in things like trains you have commercial vehicles here any vehicle you want uh emergency vehicles like so as well as off-road vehicles kind of fun if you guys are into off-roading spawn a bunch of different things in or spawn them all on top of each other just like this uh it gets pretty crazy all right continuing on here you do have your weather and time option here just kind of toggles through all of the different options here i like it you know you know me i like it nice and sunny i think this option looks kind of cool I don't know kind of like futuristic you do have your clouds options here and then you can come down here and enable whatever hour of the day you like you know me i like it sometime in the later afternoon when that sun is starting to look extra 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 nice you have your lightning option here as well <laughs> lightning gets very loud when it happens it always blurs out a bunch of the video you can also you can in turn up the water intensity like the waves and stuff you can enable change the water strength i think that's like the currents there are a lot of like really weird options kind of cool though you have your powers like flash run i think does this actually work yeah it does as you guys can see flash run here we're flash running around you can also enable Pisidian. i have no idea why you'd want to do that moses and circumvolve to be honest with you guys i don't really know what those options are these are the lighting effects for whatever reason a lot of menus have this i've never really understood the reasons of doing it other than i don't know maybe like a cool thumbnail or something like that continuing on here actually wait i can show you guys the vehicles section here you can enable jumping vehicles see how it makes every vehicle jump except for the last vehicle i was in i think that's uh that's kind of cool uh we're just going to leave that on for the rest of uh, launch vehicles okay um, we can also they're all go, they're just gone they're just gone you can also downgrade all vehicles around you a lot of really cool options there oh my god wow is that's uh it's getting crazy you can also clear the area coming down here to the miscellaneous section you can come in here and adjust the colors of your heads up display you can actually let me bring that back there you have your disables option here you can disable your your basically your your hud in this menu they're considering that like your notifications i believe and stuff you also can disable your radar and your idle camera here as well pretty cool options there and then your disable stunt jump camera here as well you have your visage options here you can kind of like come in here and do like different cinematic visions uh, you can come in here and skip your cutscene, and then in the settings section here, it's just some uh, uh, like theme type things. You can come around here, move the menu anywhere you want. One thing that's really cool is you can adjust the smoothness of the scroll. So you'll see if you turn this up, the 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 animation between different features is a lot faster. But if you turn it like way down, you can see it kind of like does it in a smoother manner. I don't know. I think that was a pretty cool feature that I have not seen in any menu before. But guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, if you guys want to pick up a modded account that has over a billion dollars on it, make sure you guys pick it up from wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. And don't forget to pick up the circuit mod menu while you're there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, pick the... Sorry, guys, I'm having a hard time talking today. Pick the menu or an account up from wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, yeah.